Hi, this is nosnoosnews.com. I have been paying quite a bit of attention to the the illegals that are pouring over our border uh, on the south, all the illegal children that are coming up, and uh, the totally open borders. And I found this article on the rumor, ne rumor mill news, and it's train hoax, the real story behind the immigrant children. And this story comes from Jim Stone. He has a website. It's called jimstonefreelance.com. It's right here. And it's basically, uh, the name of the story is Child Theft, the Real Story Behind the Immigrant Children. You can also find this story on beforeitsnews.com. And there's a couple of articles out here on this. Child Theft, the Real Story Behind the Immigrant Children with DHS at the bottom of it. So I'm just wanting to, to give these links uh, to where these stories are. Please come out here and uh, link these stories anywhere you can to get the news out. Anyways, back to this story uh, on Rumor Mill News. Uh, it, it, it basically reveals the fact that the story from uh, the New York Times and then also Reuters about the Mexican train that derailed, stranding 1,300 migrants heading toward the U.S. It says, a cargo train used by Mexicans and Central Americans to travel toward the U.S. derailed in southern Mexican state of Oaxaca on Wednesday, stranding about 1,300 migrants, emergency services said. Many migrants were aboard were young people and nobody was injured. When the train nicknamed the bees came off the tracks, a spokesman for local emergency services said. S it says since last October, more than 50,000 unaccompanied minors from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras have been illegally caught crossing the border of the United States. Children say they are fleeing the violence at home and hope they will be able to stay in the United States. And it says it was a uh, heavy rain that caused this train to derail. And then here's the other story in New York Times. Stowaways are stranded in Mexico by a train ban. A little bit different story here. Hundreds of Central American migrants trying to make their way to the United States have been stranded in Mexico in recent weeks after freight line they ride labeled the beast began enforcing a ban on stowaways, migrant advocates say. The migrants, often desperate to leave the poverty and crime in their home, brave riding atop these train cars. But according to this story by Jim Stone, that he, if you go to this video here, and it's linked on his site right here, here's the video linked to the his YouTube and it's called media busting media busted illegal immigrant children from Central America are not using trains at all this whole video about six minutes it goes through there and it actually talks about uh, where this this gentleman says that there are no children that are on the trains and if you watch this video you'll see that there are no no people in the yard and it's one of the the largest uh, train yards in Central America and he's he basically says he's watched it a few times and there is is no activity no people and if there are any people according to a gentleman that he talked to that worked there 20 years Arturo said that maybe about 15 adults might try to stow away and then they will always check the trains and they escort them off and then release them yet and but he says there are no children on these trains and that it is so dangerous in all the years that he's he's worked there he hasn't seen any children stowing away on these trains so in a sense if his story is true then uh, these other two two stories uh, from Reuters and New York Times uh, are just staged and they're bogus. And then we have another story here from IntelliHub, Civilian Intelligent Agency, IntelliHub.com. 
Migrant children used as human pawns to spread infectious disease across America warns medicines. It says here by Mike Adams from Natural News, uh, America is in de facto state of invasion and it's an invasion that was deliberately engineer, engineered to occupy America with a flood of illegal Im immigrants known to be carriers of tuberculosis, scabies, lice, AIDS, swine flu, and other infectious diseases. A massive authoritarian censorship effort is underway to hide this fact from the American people, but the truth is leaking nonetheless. Moving on here, there's another story that I think a lot of people may not know about, and it is uh, posted in several areas on the web. It's an act of war on America. Mexico and Guatemala sign an agreement to fast track invasion of the U.S. And what this is is an agreement from uh, a Monday joint press that a conference was held with Mexican President Enrique Pina Nieto and Guatemalan President Otto Perez Molina to announce their agreement to jointly co cooperate and facilitate the invasion of their northern neighbor, the United States, labeled the Southern Border Program to Improve Passage. It is a locally sa sanctioned, coordinated effort on the part of Mexico and the nations of Central America to invade the United States. The agreement provides a network of border checkpoints through which an internal Mexican travel document will be issued that gives them a period of 72 hours to go into Mexico as long as they are wanting to get to the United States. And you can continue and read that on rumormillnews.com. Another fascinating, but this sounds unrelated, but at the same time, it, it's possibly very valid. Uh, there's a gentleman that was traveling from Phoenix back to his home in Los Angeles. And it's the title of this story is U.S. Government Takes 600 Greyhound Buses to Central America. He says June 1st he was in Phoenix and at the Greyhound Station at Sky Harbor ready to take a bus back to Los Angeles. And he, the bus that he had ridden on before was much newer. And then when he get, got on this bu bus it was much older and uh, even didn't have uh, cell phone chargers, I guess the newer ones do, as well as uh, more updated uh, televisions to watch, and this one had an old old closed circuit television. And as he rode toward home at Colorado River at, uh, at Blythe, California, the bus started to over overheat, so it pulled over. And he had overheard the driver make a statement that the Greyhound could not send replacement bus, the Grey, that Greyhound could not resend a replacement bus because the U.S. government took 600 Greyhound buses to Nicaragua. He said it didn't really set off any red flags for him, but after he started hearing about all these buses uh, using the, these buses shipping the illegals up up north and then also over the borders that that started to make him wonder about what was going on. Another story that's very interesting that has gotten no press and I actually had to look for this a couple times. I thought I lost it and I, I kept looking for this article. It's on your daily dose of conservatism, the GOP dailydose.com. US taxpayers financing illegal alien smugglers something's fishy going on on the Rio Grande and says the first lady of Honduras Ana Garcia de Hernandez made a trip to the United States to tour the various sites at where her citizens are being held and processed after border crashing into the United States as part of a trip she made an appearance with Texas representative Henry Kualar and spoke to the media Two of her reported comments were particularly interesting, and the report can be viewed in this video below. And 
she said that uh, she one of the interesting more, uh, or more correctly disturbing com comments came when she was referring to the amount of money being paid to the human traffickers who smuggle the children across Mexico and into the United States. Reporting on her visit after um, Action 4 News quoted the fee being charged by smugglers to, to transport the children from Honduras as being between $5,000 and $25,000. The interesting thing is there's no way that the parents could pay this amount of money to get their children up here to the border. It says, um, in spite of the known dangers, and then to sign on with a coyote, uh, the average income of the Honduras uh, people are 183 a month, barely even uh, 4500 a month if both parents are working. So this is this is incredibly interesting, and in this article it says, where could this money be coming from? And probably a good good uh, possibility is that it's the taxpayers who are paying this money. It says down here, Vice President Joe Biden took a trip to meet with officials from three main three main offender nations of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador back in June, and promised the United States would pay their governments to keep their people away. <laughs> Uh, so far, it seems like that's it's probably the opposite of what he said he's doing. And another in very interesting article here is it says here, Mexico to cut a deal to send more illegals to the United States. And this is um, Bunkerville WordPress. It says Obama's plan is working out swell. Invasion continues with a nod from our government instead of telling these countries to go to hell and that they will not get another nickel. We have this, the good news. Now Mexico will assist in the safe passage of the illiterates into our country. And this story is actually comes also, you can find it on the examiner. But this is basically the same uh, information that is is the the article that I read earlier, the act of war on America, where Mexico is actually uh, working together to send these illegals up here. Continuing on, we have um, an article that was uh, posted quite a bit earlier. It was also on uh, Glenn Beck's The Blaze site, but it seems to have disappeared. It says, government confirms authenticity of contract request for escort services for unaccompanied alien children at the border. It says, a recently discovered government request for escort services for unaccompanied alien children dat dating back to January is raising questions about whether the government was planning for a surge of illegal immigrants this year as amnesty talks heated up in the United States. The request spe specifically says it's preparing for 65,000 undocumented children. The U.S. Immigration Customs Enforcement confirmed the request to the Blaze, which is for transportation companies to escort children from the U.S.-Mexico border to relocation facilities throughout the United States. Now, I had this er originally linked to the Blaze, and when I went out there to do this video, uh, that article, this particular article, actually was gone. That link was gone. So that's that's pretty interesting there as well. And. Uh, another interesting thing is that from this article here where the U.S. taxpayers finance, financing illegal alien smugglers, it is actually saying that these coyotes, these, these so-called escorters are actually becoming uh, uh, millionaires, that the money is so, they're getting so much money for these children as they escort them up here and we're paying for that. This this information is not necessarily connected in a, a specifically to the illegal aliens, but I find it very interesting because if as this earlier the this article earlier that if 
uh, the United States is actually smuggling these children from their uh, parents in South America and he actually details this that it's it's not the trains that are bringing them up but that America with those 600 buses possibly are going down into South America posing as uh, NGOs and um, missionary type organizations to say that they're helping the children and then when they get close enough to the children many of the children are disappearing and the uh, parents says the Nicaraguan mothers have been warning their kids to stay away from gringos especially women and especially ones claiming to work for NGOs or missionary types apparently there have been a lot of runaways young uh, pregnant teens going missing and the locals there are very suspicious that they're being taken by these people after thinking about it this author Jim Stone uh, believes this would be a perfect plan go to Central America countries set up organiz organizations to help children and once the kids are under their le legal guardianship they can take them out of the countries and ship them to the US and this this seems uh, pretty pretty evil plan but um, this is very possible that this is happening and according to the information he has this is this is happening it says this is a social catastrophe involving stolen children that are bought and paid for by our tax dollars which are funding a black op run by enemies of America who are working in America's government to destroy America what about all these broken families being created in C Central America it is that simple take everything else being said about this and trash it because it is irrelevant and based on absolute BS being fronted by those who are running a huge child theft ring to bring America to s a social disaster and he believes that if their whole uh, process of, of trying to basically break America or accomplish their goal here in America then these kill kids may just end up in um, in a hole somewhere dead now this would be very sad it says here that the real story is by far far worse than trains this intentional this is intentional and being done by enemies inside the government and that is is the biggest child theft ring ever and this was also mentioned by the gentleman from the the uh, train train yard that he believes this was what was happening and to go back to this uh, this child theft that is happening supposedly by these children being kidnapped from uh, South, Amer South America and that it is not actually them sending their children up here uh, something to validate that quite well right now we have in our news that's somewhat oppressed suppressed is our articles that are actually exposing right now uh, all of our highest levels of government around the world the European royals killing naked children for fun at human hunting parties where they strip them down and hunt them naked and kill them uh, this is being done by what's called the, the uh, satanic ninth circle and they drug strip rape hunt down in the woods and they are the children are killed and there are many witnesses that are coming out with this information ever since last year and it is not only the European royals and we're talking uh, the highest royals from uh, Belgium Holland Spain Australia Ireland France England and the US there have been at least 34 child mass grave sites were identified in in many of these countries the uh, the 
Crown of England, the Catholic Church, uh, named as president in the Ninth Circle activities were Pope Francis, our current Pope, and former Pope Ratzinger, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Philip, Prince Albert, uh, our CIA, and many others. And these are all have been implicated in this huge uh, satanic ritual killing uh, and abuse ring. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And another uh, on before its news, we have the Catholic mass grave sites of 350,800 missing children found in Ireland, Spain, and Canada. And this is some more information on that as well. Uh, there's an uh, the Common Law Court of Justice is actually holding uh, sessions in in trying to allegedly or trying to uh, get evidence and having witnesses talk about what what's happened to them, what they've seen, and it says here. Um, Pope Francis was being prosecuted in the International Common Law Court in Brussels for alleged, allegedly trafficking 300,000 children of political prison, prisoners through the Vatican Catholic Charities during Argentine's Dirty War. There have been 32 mass grave sites uncovered so far in Canada, most of them on Catholic-run native residential school grounds, uh, an Irish child mass grave site containing bodies of children from age two to nine years seriously emaciated uh, decapitated um, all sorts of different things malnutrition infectious diseases and this information goes on and on and uh, the one of the, the uh, organizations behind trying to expose this is ITCCS.org, the International Tribunal into Crimes and of Church and State, and they're actually holding these hearings, common law hearings, and trying to somehow get some justice. Uh, this article here, Commentary, Genocide, or a Crime of No Consequence, the Great Obfusca Obfuscation Carries On, and Some Thoughts on What Comes Next. The uh, one of the, the gentlemen um, that's trying to help in this is Kevin D. Annette, especially for all common law workers and patriots in Canada. And this is a, an article here, uh, a short YouTube on genocide and the new republic in Canada. And he details a lot of what he's trying to do, trying to uncover this and bring these uh, people to some kind of justice. Uh, here's another article, Jesuit Superior Resigns, the Pope, the current Pope Francis may resign, child abuse scandal widens, more witnesses coming forth, British royal family implicated, a lot of the same information from the other articles, but again, this is just more information coming forward, and the, this horrid, horrid, hidden history. Another uh, person that would be implicated in this as well, Jimmy Seville, he was a DJ in England from back in the 60s and closely, closely tied to the, the British royals, Queen Elizabeth, seen often with them, doing parties with them, and he was uh, also uh, implicated in sexual abuse scandals. Uh, he's dead now, but they have found out a whole bunch of information on him in probably five or six hundred uh, sexual abuse cases. Uh, very young to old. They found a secret room in in his uh, DJ studio, behind his, inside of his DJ studio, of where probably all these children were kept and basically imprisoned. So as you can see, if you look at all of this, it's very possible that all of these children are being kidnapped and for what reasons. P 
people don't hear a lot about organ trafficking, but that is a very big thing. Uh, child sex trafficking and um, human trafficking all across the world is, is s so big because it's such big money. They make, can make tons of money out off of it because it's even, I guess, more lucrative possibly than drugs because they can keep making money off of the same person over and over again. Uh, my wonder is what are they planning on doing with all these children when they get up here? Are they going to be um, put in, besides being put in these, these big warehouses, what's going to happen to them after that? And, and under CPS, it's very well known that many, many children end up dying. They will definitely disappear and possibly be trafficked to and with this huge uh, satanic ring that, that you just heard about in those articles, uh, they are sacrificing many as well. Children are, um, are just uh, mean nothing. They, they are predators upon children. So just please go back and uh, please spread this article. If you, if you happen to listen to this video, please share this uh, article from Jim Stone. Link to it anywhere you can. Share it with everybody you know. And uh, appreciate you listening.